You can't make money out of art, so artists are, they make non-functional stuff that are good for deck. Artists do crazy things that no one understands to become famous because they're just artists. Hi, I'm Sheena Fly and I'm an artist. Today's topic is a very controversial one as everyone have different opinions but when I talk to other friends in the same industry and community, we all hear the same comments. There are many perceptions on artists' lifestyle so I have divided these perceptions into five main categories. Let's go and take a look at them one by one. make money out of art. I'm sure if any of the comments that I have mentioned so far has surprised you, this one didn't. Even when we tell our parents that what we want to do as a career in the future is art in any sorts, the first thing they try to do is wiping that idea out of our minds. I agree that for most of us, it is hard to start to find out the market and analyze what sells and what doesn't at the start, also one main factor in this is that artists should be free to make valuable pieces. So the fact that we need to please people with our works to make money out of it is an irony in itself. Something that most artists try to avoid to keep the essence of their works, which is uniqueness. A rich artist is a dead one. That's another harsh comment which is not too far away from reality but I have some objections. In any other field or work, how many years do you need to work at entry level to gain experience and then start to make more money out of it? Now you know what's interesting? Art is exactly the same. We just have another obstacles to climb, but the main factor that money comes after practice, education, time, and same industry's acknowledgement do not change. Seems like people think as soon as I decide to be an artist, then money should be poorer than my head. That's not the reality, just like any other job. So I'm gonna tell you how an artist's career path is as well, step by step. First step is practice and education. Many artists do get degrees in art or design fields, but just like other studies, education alone is never enough. Once the education part is done, then we also need to create many works for a while, probably without getting paid. We enter art contests, join free organizational galleries to showcase our works, and in general, try to keep using our skills to gain more experience. Discipline. Mm. What is discipline? Isn't it that we can define this word differently by putting it into different frames? An ordinary discipline that most people think of is 9 to 5 job. Well, it's true that you can't put an artist into a frame and ask for creativity. Creativity comes from free mind, but that doesn't mean we don't have discipline. We actually create our own rules and live by that. I'm gonna tell you myself as an example. I realized that my creativity is at its highest before the dawn when everywhere is quiet and then in the evening when I go for a walk before the sunset. So I discipline myself to get up at 5 to 6, have a quiet time, read Bible, write my diary and uh, draw concepts that I imagine. Then I plan for the day, when is the best lighting to video shoots, when is the best time to meet my team and share the new ideas and review the deadlines and I make sure that I check the sunset time so that I can go for a walk exactly an hour before that. As you can see this is my discipline to do what I need to do and because art is so unique and so related to artists soul and mind that is not something that we can decide on the same pattern and all follow that we all have different patterns it is tied to deeper values and even for some fields like pottery I know that they need to keep checking the clay and sometimes they spend the whole night in their pottery studio so it's just complicated to manage but what is for sure is that without our own discipline we can't function as well so we do have it art is non-functional and just a bit to have 
I gotta be really honest here, out of all the comments, this one really gets to me. Recently in Australia, our government announced that they are excluding the whole department of art and replacing it with transportation. So up to this day, I really don't understand how excluding art can really help the society because a society and country and culture without art is just a blank paper. But let's just leave that aside. So what is a function of art? One, it is a form of expression. Whether you do art yourself and express something that can't be put into words or you purchase an artwork that you could relate to and by adding that to your space, you also try to express yourself and communicate a part of your personality to others. Two, it is the only way that your mind, body and emotions become one to create something. It is one of the aspects of us human beings that really separates us from the other creatures. Three, art is priceless, timeless, and a record that can remain throughout history to tell a story of a moment or emotion that was captured in it. It's like a time capsule. Art is the reason we can clearly picture all the previous ages and cultures, so worthy and so valuable. Please don't use art, just express something with it. Reading someone's art requires one of the two or both of these. Knowing yourself well and being connected with your emotions. Two, knowing your society and the present time. Most real artists have a clear message in their mind when creating a piece of art. But you might see something different in their works if you don't read the description and relate to it in your own way. However, if you don't understand any art, that means you are blocked somehow and you are missing one of the first two points that I've mentioned. Having said that there are many conceptual arts that I really wish people would stop making. These are not adding any values to this profound industry and they're actually one of the reasons the sentence art is dead came out. But let's not forget that we still have many active creators of good works and art is never dead as long as they live. one you need to be a bit crazy to be an artist for this one I just ask you a question are you completely balanced and sensible how boring coming to an end of this episode I try to answer some of these common questions in my own way but please take this as a chance to communicate and converse down below in the comment section the main aim of this episode was to create an opportunity and a space to talk about these questions more than only me talking behind this glass alone hit that like and subscribe button and keep in touch on my instagram page i'll see you all next time have a colorful day bye